The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners who come together delivering applied research for Australian industry. Roads are a crucial part of Australia's transportation infrastructure and will continue to be in the foreseeable future. However, road construction and management face growing pressure to respond to a number of challenges resulting from climate change and fossil fuel dependence. Climate change is, is massive for main roads. With temperatures getting warmer, it affects the asset, it's the, uh, the pavement itself and how long it lasts. And, but also it has an implication for the vulnerability of our communities as well because roads play a key role in like an evacuation scenario if there's bushfires. We're a growing city, so our transport system is fundamental to how people get around and how people work and live within our city. So our transport challenge is getting bigger and bigger every year. I think it's important to recognise the crucial role that roads play in our way of life. Uh, if we don't have a highly functional roads network, or other transport networks for that matter, then uh, our economy suffers and our way of life will suffer. What is critical is how these roads are designed, constructed, operated and disposed of at end of life. And what we're seeing more and more is that the owners of large infrastructure want more solutions to make their assets more sustainable. The past decade in Australia has seen a focus on minimising the ecological disturbance of roads in the design, operation and management. And Australia road agencies have done extremely well at that. The next phase, however, is taking in a more holistic sustainability framework, which incorporates not only the ecological management or minimising the ecological footprint or impact of roads, but incorporating the cultural and economic impact of roads as well. The IS rating tool by, the, by ISCA has been developed by industry for industry for this exact purpose. This tool is quickly becoming a standard in the operation, design and management of roads. What the IS tool did for City East Alliance was really highlight some of the innovations that they were able to achieve as part of that. Um, for example, it was the first project in Western Australia to, to utilise what's called warm mixed asphalt which is a type of asphalt which has a much lower embodied energy in it so we were able to save a, num a, a lot of carbon emissions because of that. As well as that we were able to use as sub-base recycled crushed concrete. Now we, we achieved 43% of the imported material coming onto the project was recycled material which is a very big win for for sustainability but also the use of recycled content in major road projects in West Australia. The City East Alliance had the challenge of trying to create a pedestrian friendly environment in a heavy transport utilised area. So as part of that it utilised urban and landscape design that integrated these different types of transport. This particular intersection has incorporated a cycle path as well as a bus queue jump lane as well as Ur um, urban design to the take that is considering things from a pedestrian point of view. City East Alliance, we took the opportunity to install solar power bus shelters as part of that project. They simply only light the shelter at this stage, but we're looking to expand that, so potentially in the future we'll be looking to light our, our traffic signals and our street lighting from the power of renewable energy. We've upgraded our traffic signals to LED technology over the last six years, and we're also looking at different ways of lighting our streets. Gateway WA is going to be the first major highway to have highway standard LED lighting integrated into that infrastructure project. Congratulations to Main Roads WA. To be successful in the future, we will need to have a sustainable industry and I think it's important to recognise that we can be influenced by and also influence uh, changes to economic, environmental and social conditions. The collaboration between universities and industry I think uh, gives a real um, mutual benefit. I think the Future of Roads project is a good example of this and uh, one that I think that will provide uh, an enhancement to the sustainability of roads in the future. Thank you.
This project, The Future of Roads, focuses on how road agencies, particularly in Western Australia, New South Wales and Queensland, are facing the future and dealing with some of these pressures and incorporating some of these innovations. Some of the key trends the Future of Roads project has highlighted to us is the declining demand for car use. We see the major innovation that's coming that we need to prepare for are autonomous vehicles and electric vehicles. Well, I think the, uh, the introduction of the ISCA IS tool to uh, infrastructure in Australia and, and hopefully internationally is, is an exciting development where we uh, as an industry can target more sustainable outcomes through the, through the design, construction and operation of these, uh, these assets. Other things I've seen that are a bit more cutting edge are very exciting in the use of regenerative uh, braking technology or LED systems within roads and even solar panels within roads to uh, generate energy. So I think there is a, a lot that can be achieved. Uh, it's just a case of how much imagination people have. This project has been about the future of roads and we've looked at some amazing possibilities of what the future of roads would look like from around Australia, including the incorporation of the ISCA tool, the reduction of energy production or energy needs within the road design and also operational phases, particularly through the adoption of LED lighting and also at some of the more cutting edge innovations around the adoption of or production of renewable energy in the roads operational phases. The future of roads provides not only the, uh, the principles, but it provides the mechanisms, the technology, the tools to make a difference. And I think that is the very thing that has certainly attracted me to this project in wanting to make a difference and using technology and good insight and good information as the very basis of doing so and looking at the issues in a total holistic way. And if we all get together behind this collectively, we will all make a major difference.